guys, welcome to day three of the Read Along Your Bookshelf with Odd. P.S. I know I look awesome, but you know, beach day. So it is the end of day three. Well, it's 30 minutes away from the end of day three. And I actually read a pretty decent amount of this book today. I read two thirds of it today, basically. And it was so good. I went to the beach today and um, we were there for hours and hours. And I read this book the, almost the entire time that we were there. But uh, it kind of did not do any good for my back. Like the sun was beaming right on my right side. And so this part of my back is completely burned. While this part of my back is like just tan and like didn't really get any burn, which is really funny. But, you know, it was all worth it to have a good day reading my book. So, um, today I read 214 pages of Eleanor Park. I, I almost think I like this better. I do. I like this better than Fangirl already, I think. I don't know what it is about this book exactly, but I just, it's so unbelievable. I can't even put it into words how amazing this book is and how beautiful the characters are. They're perfectly flawed in every single way, but yet they still they just like love each other and they come from crappy lives and oh anyway that is 214 pages added on to my previous page count, which I don't know the number, but that is right there in this little corner of awesomeness. I'm 98% sure I'm going to finish this tomorrow, and then I'll be moving on to just one day, which I am, I'm, uh, I don't know how, how I'm going to feel about just one day. I have a feeling that I'm going to like it a lot. I'm not sure if it's going to be one of my favorites or not. I'm not sure. I just don't know a lot about just one day, but, um, we will find out tomorrow what I think of the book when I finish about half of it. So that is all for day three, and I will see you in a few seconds with the wrap-up of day four. Okay guys, so I just finished this book, and it was really good, and I liked it a lot, <sighs> but I can't read just one day right now. I I can't read just one day right now. I, I'm looking at my bookshelf, and the only thing that I want to read is either Sarah Dessen that I've already read, or Anna the French Kiss again. So I... Uh, I'm gonna read one of those books and then go continue on with the rest of my uh, TBR. But as of right now, I I can't I can't read a book. I don't know how it will end. So I'm gonna take a couple hours to decide what book I'm gonna read. I'm not gonna pick up anything right now, even though it's only 1:30 in the morning. Um, I'm just I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I can't read right now. <laughs> It was a really good book, and you seriously need to get it, because I've never cried like this in a book before. Like, I've never cried like this in a book before. It, like, pulled out so many raw emotions for me. It was so good. Enough of this. I just wanted to show you guys what happened right after I finished this book. This beautiful, stupid book. Like, oh, it's so good. But, oh, God. So... I'm going to see you guys at the end of day four, and uh, I will tell you what I've been reading. I don't know what I'm going to read next, but I have to keep going because I still want to read things, but I just can't read just one day. I know that's breaking the readathon, but I'll come back to it. I just need to not read that right now. So I will see you guys at the end of this day. Okay guys, so it is now uh, 11 o'clock and I'm done reading for day four. Um, so as you just saw from the last clip, I was pretty distraught when finishing Eleanor and Park. It was a beautiful story and it just gave me all the feels and if you haven't read this, you need to read it right now. I'm going to be making a thing about it, a video soon. But, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say for right now. But my page count for today, it probably would have been a lot better if this uh, story wouldn't have completely destroyed me on the inside a little bit. So um, I didn't really read as much as I should have read. But I did read a decent amount, I guess. This book right here, I read 95 pages, the last 95 pages of the book. And in this book right here, I decided to pick up what I thought was true and skipping over uh, Just One Day. So I am still in the line. I just skipped over Just One Day and went to what I thought was true. And so after I finish this, I'm going to go to Just One Day. And I read one page in this book. Um, 
I decided to pick this up a couple minutes ago, and I just decided to read the first page of it and to see if I was going to like it. And I think I really will, but I just, I don't really want to read right now, to be honest. I want to read a lot, actually, but I just, I'm just not, like, in an emotional state to where the story is going to absorb that well. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, 95 pages and then one page of this, which means uh, 96... Oh, come on. Computer, what's wrong with you? But I promise I will get a bunch of reading done tomorrow. Hopefully reading half of this book tomorrow. Maybe a third of this book. But anyway, so 95 pages in this book and then one page in this, which makes 96 pages for my day four wrap-up. So right here is my overall for days one through four. Hi guys, so it is now day five, and um, I kind of did no reading today. Um, actually, I lie, I did do some reading, but I reread portions of Eleanor and Park. I think I'm in a mourning period right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I can't stop thinking about Eleanor and Park. It was so beautiful, and oh, I just keep rereading, like, right after Christmas, and just reading all those chapters over again, and oh, I, it makes me so happy. So unless you count the pages that I read in Eleanor and Park, I read zero pages today. But overall, my page count actually isn't really that bad, especially for me because I'm not used to reading so much in a week. Um, I've already read three books, and usually I read three books in about three weeks. So that is amazing for me, and hopefully tomorrow I will be reading a bunch more. Um, I My goal for tomorrow is to actually read books that I haven't already read, and I want to read What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick, and I want to read at least half of it. So, fingers crossed in that one that I will get that goal accomplished, and until now, thanks for watching. Until now. Until then, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this day's 3 through 5 update. Look forward to seeing days 6 through 7 in the near future, and hopefully my May-June haul will be up eventually. I just, I've been doing a lot of reading and a lot of video game playing. But yeah, thanks for watching again, and I will talk to you all soon. Goodbye!